Am I revealing too much? I think you're revealing a lot. <laughs> We're gonna have to bleep this section out. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Tangents. I know you haven't seen this show in a while, but we figured we'd spark it back up so that we can talk about a really big announcement that we made yesterday that you hopefully caught on Instagram. And Facebook and Twitter. All those places, except for here. You're doing it so fast that it feels out of control, but it's a good thing. Car's on the move. He's up on the curb. Yes. One. Yes. You don't learn the limits unless you push the limits. So in the way it'll roll out is it's two episodes every week. So over four weeks, you get eight episodes of the series. And then in the last episode, you get an early preview of uh, Jim Wakanda 10. Been a very cool partnership with Amazon. There's been a bit of a creative battle with us, but in the end, it's all about trying to make the best show that we can make. They like a bit more drama than we do, but there was a bit more drama in making yeah. Jim Connor 10 than usual, so. It's been a, over a decade now, or it has been a decade since we released Jim Khanna Practice, which is Jim Khanna 1. You know, the thing uh, about Jim Khanna and everything is we, we've kind of kept the backstory really secret. And I think in the early years, it was because we didn't want anyone to steal our formula. And then as it grew, it was just kind of something that we, we started to realize that there was a bigger story to tell and we wanted to tell that story. And to be quite honest, a lot of other TV studios and stuff reached out to us. Everybody wanted to like hype up the drama and they wanted to make it like a story, like a reality TV show about conflict and all of that. And we were like, that's not really what we do. That's not what we want to make. But when we got this opportunity with Amazon and they were like, actually Hoonigan could produce the show it gave us a little bit more control over what we really wanted the show to be and we didn't want it to become like this ridiculous like reality TV show where Ken's in the confessional being like, Scotto's an asshole and I'm in the confessional being like, he's a bigger asshole and <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And then like getting our wives involved and like we didn't want that. In the end, Jim Connor 10 over delivered on uh, being really difficult and creating a ton of drama. Well, the funny thing is most of the shoots are four to five days. We usually have maybe one thing that goes wrong, like the unicorn broke on Randy's donuts on mm -hmm. the second take. You know, so we thought, ah, we, how's it, you can't really make a dramatic reality TV show out of these shoots. But the thing with Jim Connor 10 is, I've had ideas, we've had ideas that we've been sitting on for a while that are difficult ideas. Mm -hmm. The pure nature of these difficult ideas made it so there was more drama than what we normally have. So, you know, the Jim Connor 10 is a little bit unusual compared to the rest of them. And that's, I think, what makes the TV show a bit more bit more interesting. Well, a lot more interesting. And talking about those ideas, like it was actually ideas that happen in 10 that we've been talking about since Junkana 2. That like we just weren't able to pull off for one reason or another. Either the idea wasn't big enough to carry a whole film or we just couldn't make it happen. I think one of the other things, and we obviously, we see these comments and all the time. And actually, I'm gonna pull one up on my phone because someone uh, commented about this the other day. And it, I really liked it because while it was critical, uh, I think it spoke really well to what this show is gonna help explain and how you guys are gonna understand better on it. Shore Leave Matt wrote, uh, this looks awesome. My biggest gripe with the Gymkhana videos is that they're too polished, too blatantly shot through dozens of outtakes, edited to look smooth. It always felt so insincere. This is exactly the side of the videos I always wanted to see well done. First of all, it, it's never a dozen of takes. Dozens a little hyper, hyperbolic. Um, but it does. I, by the way, I wish it was dozens because that means I would get to drive, drive a lot more. more. Yeah. Because sometimes I don't get to drive enough. So I think one of the best ways to explain this, and I heard someone else I talked to about this from skateboarding, was like, it blows me away that people question the number of takes that Ken uses to like in the Jim Connor films. Because in skateboarding, we could, you may go like weeks trying to land a trick. Mm -hmm. And then you show the outtakes in you know, the crash section, but then you show the make. 
Like I've sat there and I've watched Nigel Houston, who's one, probably one of the best skaters today, try to land a set for an ESPN cover for like a day. Like we sat there for the whole day trying to land one trick. Like that's so normal from what we come from. And for some reason, there's been a backlash on the internet of like, oh, well, you couldn't do that first take. And it's like, well, it's because it's literally the first time we're trying it. And a lot of times he does do it first take. Randy's Donuts is a perfect example. You know, sometimes like we take extra takes for camera purposes. Sometimes we take it because he wants to try it a different way. Like, oh, I entered this way. Maybe if I entered this way, it can be a little bit more smoky or get a little more backwards. It's like just feeling it out. Like we want to provide A grade kind of tricks, well, not like, hey, we did it once and uh, we're moving on. The last thing that I remember practicing, I think actually the only thing we ever practiced was Gym Con of Five. We practiced you sliding backwards, mm -hmm. the 270 backwards slide around the cone up to the trolley. Right. Because we, we didn't actually know if the car could do it and we, we didn't want to do is shut down city streets for five hours and pay for all of that when we didn't know if it was possible because well, it was just an idea of mine yeah. and we didn't know if it would work. I think I, actually, I think I actually have that footage. Cut to that footage if I can find it. <laughs> You know, the goal of the video is to make something that as a, a car and motorsport fan is the most entertaining and the most yeah. dramatic thing possible. And you're not going to get that in the first take of trying something on a totally yeah. new surface. Sometimes you do, but it's yeah, not Yeah, sometimes you do. But, it, but that's not the goal. Right. We want to get the best, most entertaining shot to make the best, most entertaining video. That's the goal. Yeah. It's think. funny too, because like in the first few films, I don't even think it was something we ever even thought about. No. It wasn't something like, oh wow, we got that on the first take, let's move on. But yeah. we actually do in Jim Connor 10, which is the segue, yeah. so, which we tease a little bit so people know it's coming. That rarely happens and you're going to see that in the show because you're going to see all the other things that come into play as to like why that didn't work. Like, why that camera wasn't running or why the drone wasn't in the right position or like all these other pieces because i think everyone doesn't realize how many pieces it takes to make these films yeah and we have crews of 100 people and we filming. overshoot stuff so much Sorry, so that's many my fault. <laughs> but we do that for a reason though that we knit we we nitpick everything in the in the edit bay. That edit bay, yeah, right there. That that's bay. where we to make sure all that like bay. we tell the storytelling as real as possible mm -hmm. and as good as possible to make it entertaining. Because not only do we want every all the fans and everybody enjoy it, but we want to enjoy it. Like mm -hmm. we love making this stuff, and we want it to look as good as possible. I, I feel like we gave away so much, and that's <laughs> something that's so different. Like every year before. We usually, 10 days before Jim Connor comes out, we start talking about it. And this time, if you watch Jim Connor Files, it's gonna be the exact opposite. Like you're gonna know all the locations, all the cars, some of the tricks, some of the struggles we had. So it'll be interesting to watch yeah. this almost and, in reverse. And you actually see stuff in Jim Connor Files that failed. Right, and, and that didn't doesn't actually make it, make it into the video because sometimes things yeah. don't work out. And if it doesn't, if it isn't good enough, it just doesn't go in the video. So. That's the cool thing about Jim Connor Files. You see some of those things that maybe are good or not good enough to even make it in the video. Amazon has delivered very well on, on what we're doing. So pretty stoked about that. Thanks, Amazon. Um, and I mean, I'm not just saying this, but like they've actually been a pretty good partner because I've worked with other networks before. I won't name who, and they were not good partners. Yeah. They wanted to change things and they didn't understand like that we get this. Like the reason we've been somewhat successful with the Gymkhana films and with Hoonigan is because we're enthusiasts ourselves and we want to make content for enthusiasts. Right. Well, I, I think Amazon's been good at understanding who we are and letting us be who we are. And mm -hmm. they did the same thing with Grand Tour, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that was an existing show. It was changed and yep. rebranded, but the basic and essence of who those guys yep. were same and writers, what they were same. doing, yep. yeah, they brought them in. They just let them do them. themselves yep. and it was very successful. And they're doing the same thing with us. And for those of you who are slightly bummed that you have to get a Prime membership, the other things though is that if you are following us on Twitch, uh, you get Twitch Prime with your Prime membership. So you actually get a free subscription so you can get the Hoonigan subscription uh, through that as well. And also we just launched a Hoonigan store on Prime. So you can now get stuff with free shipping and all of that. So it's actually 
cheaper than buying it from us on our dot com, which seems like not the best thing business strategically for us, <laughs> but whatever. It makes it easier for you guys. So when you ask your parents or your girlfriend or whoever to buy you stuff for Christmas, it's like really simple. It's like one click purchasing. You know, one of the things about Amazon is like they allowed us to do something we had n were never able to do before. For all of our partners, whether it's guys like Amazon or Ford or Monster or whoever else, that's such an important thing is that these guys gave us the ability to kind of go create something that we've long wanted to do but haven't been able to do, which stems me into wanting to ask you a question. 10 years ago when this launched, did you ever think that we'd be here today having a TV show about what is essential, what essentially was an advertisement for, for DC Shoes? <laughs> no, and like, that's been kind of the story of my race career is like, you know, racing Colin McRae and forcing him into a role in the X Games mm -hmm. and getting a medal for it. Like, that is something that if you ever told me that was going to happen, I would have told you were crazy. Or the fact that I made it on the cover of a snowboard magazine with a rally car. And a cover of a motocross magazine yeah. with a rally car. Yeah, so, so many things have happened in my career that I, I like appreciate and has been a surprise to me. So the fact that we have this show and that we're on our 10th video, believe me, I appreciate every moment of this and it's been an incredible ride and it seems to keep going. Like, <laughs> Hoonigan's been able to grow and really develop and the fact that we've been able to make not only all, you know, the Gymkhana videos and Climbkhana and all these other projects, but actually win awards for this stuff. It's been very cool. It's been a great marriage of my background in marketing and the things mm -hmm. that I like to do creatively with the things I dreamt about as a kid, you know, being able to race and drive and jump rally cars it's wild wild yeah, ride it's, it's still going thankful for that <laughs> yeah no doubt we put a lot of effort into this it's been a so two-year project we hope you like it yeah so we so, hope you like it which uh, is so wild because typically it's so it happens so much quicker like we may talk about it for six months leading up to it but then we film it in five days and it's over but we had multiple locations so it, it just kind of quadrupled everything we had to do because we kept going out and even though the parts are smaller, we still seem to be on set for the same amount of time, which I don't understand that, Matt. <laughs> and we just shot so much of it. We went to so many different places, had so many different vehicles, so many different ideas. So like you've seen the snow one, some of you may have already caught that there's the little things that seem out of place in other places that we've done that are, I don't want to give too much away, but talking about things we do with the Kazi and, you know, so all of that stuff has just been a lot of fun because it's allowed us to, you know, make that video that like we've always wanted to make but didn't have the like ability to do it and to be quite honest it was his creative idea of us doing this sort of in five parts because we couldn't think of one single idea that was good enough for what we felt Gymkhana 10 should be. We know that Gymkhana 5 is the best one that we've done. It's about to hit 100 million views. Like, yeah. everyone has agreed. There's been a vote, <laughs> yeah. it's won the vote. And when you go back into making 10, you think to yourself, like, how do we one up that? That's what the Amazon show is, is like the struggle of one upping it. And we're laughing now, but there's a lot of times where we're not laughing while everything went wrong. Whether it was, you know, issues with cars, issues with locations, issues with us, <laughs> issues with the the expectation of what you think something's gonna be and it doesn't pan out. It was a lot of fun making the show, but it was also a lot of struggle, which I think ends up making for, for good content. So yeah, on that, make sure you guys watch it. Let's go eat some Thai food. Sounds good. To... Can you hear them? It's all right, just keep a little cut through it.